Hi, this is Alex from Tired Education, and this is a tutorial on the MIDI editing features in Cubase. So, I've just created a blank region and have put in a couple of notes. Um, it's obviously not going to sound very inspiring, but just to give you an idea. Now, I want to start off with like a number of, of key commands and things that you can use in the MIDI editing window. So, the first main important thing that um, I want to to tell you about is the is clicking enter which switches in between the MIDI editing tab and the arrangement window you can also look in the lower zone and find it there as well but for now we'll press enter and you can see the the notes I've just drawn in now the first thing that you can do which is like a useful key command is pressing command and shift and going on yeah any MIDI note and that can increase or decrease the velocity so if I do that to a few of them it will which is very quick and useful you can also do these in groups so if you have the object selector tool you can go for, for a group of them like so which is also very useful but it's mostly for individual ones that I do um, if we go on to that group selection again there are a number of things that you can do you can obviously highlight all of them and drag them all down or up in terms of the velocity but you can also ramp them down and create a crescendo using the top left one there or if we undo you can do a diminuendo And what's amazing about this is that you can keep that same ratio where wherever you are just through th through dropping down the volume or increasing the volume it will yeah maintain that exact s same ratio that you set so if i for example increase one of these and decrease one a lot and select them all by hitting command a and dragging them down it will still maintain that same ratio um, obviously command d is going to be duplicate for all of these that's uh, obviously a very useful interesting feature and also when you select them all this is a very very useful one is if you click this middle button here this will compress all of the MIDI notes so if, say for example you had crazy different velocities on everything else I'm just gonna be doing this very quickly now you can maybe just do it here as well you can do it down in this window What you can do is highlight all of them, go to this, this arrow here, and compress all of them like so. This is very useful when you want to flatten out all the dynamics or something maybe a bit too intense on the loud parts or on the quiet parts, things like that. You can see just with these couple of features now why this can be very, very useful for things like um, orchestral applications. So yeah, like if you have a crescendo on a string part playing an ostinato like so, and it feels a bit too flat and you'd like to um, perhaps increase all, all the dynamics, you can just do it like so. It's very quick. MIDI editing features is kind of what makes Cubase very unique for, you know, mostly sequencing uh, MIDI applications, which is why it's so, so popular among film and TV composers. So another very interesting feature of Cubase, which is much more applicable for the orchestral thing, is expression maps. Um, they're obviously individual ones for each, for each library, from, from people like Cinematic Studio Strings to Native Instruments, Spitfire Audio, etc. And they normally have their own expression maps that come with um, their, their individual libraries. But you can set them up here. And what that enables is if you go into your... Art articulations tab down here it means that you can select a certain group of notes that can be be pizzicato that then moves into staccato then legato or whatever and you can literally program it all from down here this is only set to dynamics now but if you import an expression map data from in here then you can change the articulations of each individual instrument and and section and ensemble just through doing that that's going to save a whole load of time and cpu when it comes to things like templates and instruments and all sorts of things like that it's definitely going to save a lot on your computer um, what you can also do in individual notes 
is if I double click on one, you can have an individual expression for that note. So for example, if I have just a normal chord, let's go, let's go for an F major chord, and let's get rid of all of these, and just have, move these back, go out, and then we'll go back, sorry. Okay. Okay, what, what you can do is have individual expression on each note. So if I double click, I can draw in individual MIDI CC on each note. Just hear how that F is getting quieter, and then I can do it, for example, on the C. I'll do a much more crazy one so you can hear it. This is a very intricate feature of Cubase. If you want a particular note to ring out more, or if you want in a chord a note to perhaps have a bit more expression, then you can do that using individual MIDI CC on the notes. So that's a very interesting feature and very useful when applied to, um, to multiple parts in one window. Just a couple of other quick features. Um, you can click on command and back arrow to move it back by the set quantization level um, and you can also hit alt to stretch it by the set quantization level so if you have it on for example 30 second notes it will all be done and relevant to that all right obviously q is quantized so if i want to set this to whole bar i can just press q and it will obviously immediately quantized to the nearest value. So um, that's a useful feature that's done in all DAWs, but it's just nice to have it at your fingertips there and then. So another cool feature of Cubase that you can have down here is if we click on this icon here, the controller lane setup and go on show, we can have a number of windows for our MIDI information. Um, we can choose this, we can customize it, set, set presets and templates. So I've got an orchestral one that I can open and it's got my modulation, which is my main MIDI CC, my velocity and if I'm using expression maps and my dynamics as well. And I can have all three of these lanes open at the same time. And um, with all of those things I mentioned on the MIDI editing features is also very much applicable to these as well. So say if this was my, my modulation line, All of those features that I mentioned in the velocity, you can also do in the modulation as well. So, so, so simply highlight it. If I want to compress it more, you can do so like that. If you want to have a gentle fade out, you can do so like that. And if you want more velocity on everything, you can do so like that. And you can also do it in sections as well. So if I want much more on that one, I can also copy that over there. I can. Uh, copy it over there, compress that one more. It's very, very flexible and easy to work with. So obviously that sounds stupid, but it's a good demonstration as to what you can do with all the MIDI CC in Cubase. So um, just a quick one, hitting Alt will bring up the pencil tool. So if you just want to draw something in, you can. It's pretty easy and you can do this on multiple different parameters just simply hit this icon here and it can have things like velocity which, which we've obviously got already pitch bend aftertouch poly pressure program change system exclusive and then you've got all your cc's as well which includes expression sustain main volume so if you have a separate controller for your volume for your midi cc1 your modulation for your sustain pedal obviously you can all you can change that all here and if you want you can add multiple multiple different lanes at a time if you don't want 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 all of them you can just hit that controller lane there show and hide and you can just simply edit away as such so just a quick tip here if you want to split your your notes if i create one there and split it out over four bars i can highlight it hit three and hold alt and it will split it into a 16th notes as such. Okay, so one very interesting tip that uh, is very useful in a quick situation is with the chord track. So if I highlight that MIDI region there just by clicking on it, going 
to project and then chord track i can create the chord symbols from the track there are, are a couple of options here to include things like bass notes and tensions arpeggios the sustain but i'm just going to include the bass notes and what it will do is it will create a chord track for me with all the relevant chord symbols this is just a very useful feature when you need to get something down quick and just know what you are like if you don't have as as much of a knowledge of music theory that that's fine but if you also just want to know the chords of what you played you know last year or something for a, a mix or whatever then you can just find it out very quickly by highlighting the project chord track and create core chord symbols um, you can also assign the voices to notes you can can map it to a chord track etc etc so there's plenty of options in the chord track and the, the midi editing features that are very deep and we can go into in another video uh, and last very quick tip but obviously very important is uh is is jumping octaves and notes so just the up and down keys will change the actual notes and shift shift up and down will change the octaves as well obviously the left and right arrows will go in between them and if you hold shift you can do all of that and yeah if you want to shift all of them by an octave or down an octave or like up a minor third you can also do that as well so um and if i just very quickly create a couple of new tracks as a very useful feature that you can do for multiple midi parts which is transpose all of them using yeah, Cubase's transpose function. So say if I had all of these tracks here, one was up an octave, one was down an octave. We can highlight all of them, go on the transpose, go down a minor third, and now these have all been transposed down uh, a minor third. So it's a really interesting feature that can be used in Cubase. So, um, and just one one final thing, if you want to just make a very quick edit in the, the arrangement view, you can do so by, um, well I've assigned this, but if, yeah, if I hit Control shift i I can bring up the MIDI editing window in the, the arrangement window. So say if I had something that I really wanted to line up with a kick or with or with a snare or something like that, I can zoom in and just make a, make all the changes there, as well as all your your velocity changes and your your controller lanes and all sorts of things like that. So it's very flexible like that. I personally use this feature mostly for things like timing and lining up with other audio events but you can also use it for all the other features that you can in this window as well so that's just a basic introduction to all of the midi editing features in cubase it's very very powerful very useful tips and tricks in there so i really hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more videos like this be sure to to subscribe to the Tired Education YouTube channel and hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time we have a new video coming out. Cool, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.